Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about the Glam Light and Frosted Flakes collection. I did say in my new makeup releases that I wanted to buy the palette and the full PR box actually showed up on Friday night. So I am filming this, going through the full collection. We're going to try all of it out of my face. I'm going to swatch it and then we're going to see if this is the normal good glam like quality and what I feel about it once I've been able to use it. And if you haven't been here before, if this is your first video here, hello, my name is Angie. I am such a lover of beauty makeup. I love everything beauty makeup related, especially love things that are a little bit more colorful. And in this collection, we definitely have color. So if you want to see some more videos from me, please do subscribe because I upload quite a lot of videos every week. <laughs> So like I said, I got this PR box sent to me. I have it over here. It looks like the big Frosties package. Actually, kind of cool. I mean, Glamlight, Glamlight is the brand that, if not invented food-themed makeup, then at least popularized it with the pizza palette and the hamburger palette and the taco palette. And I feel like they are still going strong with that. And I kind of enjoy that they are like, we have our thing, we're going with it. In this collection, there is a loose highlighter, a palette, and then there are two different lip kits. One that has orange packaging and one that has blue. Let's actually start with the lip kits. The one that has the orange packaging is a lip liner that is slightly darker than the other lip liner that I'm gonna show you. And then it is a peachy, uh, I will say that this is a comfort matte lipstick. It's like a peachy nude. These look really nice and I think this is the first time that Glam Light is doing a bullet lipstick and I really like the tiger stripes on this one. The packaging per usual is just really really good with Glam Light and I'm gonna try these uh, lipsticks like lip combos out because I'm gonna do two different eye looks. That's usually what I do when I do like a first impression is that I do a first and a second impression just so we can see how things work out. The second lip set is with a gloss and a lip liner. And like I said, this lip liner is slightly lighter than the other lip liner. And the gloss is just, well, this is meant to be like the frosty part of Frosted Flakes. So this is like a more frosty, uh, sheer, glittery type of lip gloss. So we're gonna try this out as well. And then there is a highlighter. I think a lot of people are really hyped about this highlighter because it looks like a bowl of cereal. It, it is a lot. I mean, this is a lot. <laughs> Am I like, I'm not the kind of person that's like into kooky packaging like this. I'm more into like sleek or luxurious looking packaging, but I will say it is doing the most with this theme and I kind of love it for that. I like that the highlighter has this packaging. This is a loose highlighter that's also meant to be like the frosted of the frosted flakes. So I kind of enjoy that they went a little extra with the highlighter packaging instead of the palette packaging because I know a lot of you don't really like palettes that have like weird shapes and stuff like that. And when it comes to the palette, the palette is looking like a box of cereal and also comes in a box and um, it's just like if it was a box of cereal and I think that that is really cool. The, op the way you open this is the way you open a, a box of cereal as well. And the palette is just stunning with the, the oranges and the blues. And what I really like about this palette, what, I, what really draws me in, this is not the first palette in the universe with an orange and a blue, but normally it is a neutral palette that's leaning very orange with the pop of blue. Here, it is an almost like two-thirds blue palette with a black, a white, and then one, two, three oranges, a pop of neutral, and a yellowy gold. It just makes this a little different. It's like if you inverted the whole warm neutrals with a pop of blue. If you just inverted that theme, you got this. A blue palette with oranges and a pop of neutral. I really enjoy it, and I will say swatching these... These swatches are absolutely amazing. I think my favorite shade is this one that is a matte, like just matte straight up blue. Blue like, blue like the sky, Klein blue, I love it. And then we have a metallic to that one, just straight up blue. And I really love this orange metallic as well and the orange matte here. They look absolutely stunning. And I will say this dark matte blue here, so pretty. So I feel like this palette, you can go monochromatic, you can go neutral, you can go light, you can go dark. I am gonna try and do two looks that has like the oranges and the blues uh, like mixed together, not mixed because it can, it's a little bit muddy, but like showing you how you can use them uh, together. If you do end up 
picking this palette up. I do have a code with Glam Life. My code is in Jessica. All the details will be in the description box. And you will get 15% off with Glam Life. I will leave all of that down below, like I said. And this was sent to me as PR, like I said, but this video is not sponsored. Also, I told you in my new makeup releases that uh, Frosted Flakes is actually called Frosties in my country. And it seems like most Europeans, it's actually called Frosties. But then someone told me that Frosties in the US is some kind of a milkshake at a fast food restaurant so I was like oh so maybe that's why it's not frosties the more the more you know okay let's jump into this okay I think the palette is 35 I think the lip kits are 15 and I think the highlighter is 16 when I check now everything was still available on the site in case you are interested and yeah check the description box for more info let's dive in and let's start with lip kits and highlighter because I don't have a highlighter on I'm gonna start with the lip kit that has the gloss and this like slightly lighter pen uh, and we'll use the lipstick in the uh, second look this is like a wooden pencil one of those that you sharpen yourself i will say it's not the creamiest formula i've ever tried but it's definitely not hard to work with you can tell that this is very close to my own lip color. I would say that this is like a light rosewood shade. It is a beige that has a little bit of a pinky undertone. It is very, very, very close to my own lip color. I would say that these are not like super creamy, but also I kind of like the formulas that are not super, super creamy because it makes it... Ooh, that is frosty indeed. It makes it easier to be precise with them. And that's what I like. I usually do not wear frosty glosses like this, but <laughs> here we are. Well, it sure is a frosted look. It's really pretty. It feels very light on the lips. It does not feel sticky. And I cannot feel the glitter on my lips, which is nice. It's not a gritty formula. Let's do the highlighter then. So I've already swatched this. And let me tell you, I was surprised at how creamy this formula felt. It feels extremely creamy when I swatched it, and it swatched very, very beaming. Um, I mean, you can tell, and it is a... F <laughs> that, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Let, me, let me see if I can work this in, because it is like... I don't know if this is meant for a deeper skin tone, but let me see. Because I have a light medium foundation on my skin today and i feel like this is just too light for me i do like how the formula because you can see the cast here don't know if i love that don't know if i love that i can see the cast it's very very glowy it really is but is it my kind of glowy that i can't tell you I prefer something that is not like this bananas. Let me see if I can put a little bit on the blush on. I'm actually wearing a blush from Sara today, this orangey one. There's no name on this one, which is very annoying, but I will link it down below. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on. That is intense. Okay, if you like an intense highlighter, uh, it's definitely intense. Maybe it's a little bit too intense for me. Love the packaging though. And I will say the formula is very creamy. It sticks to the face. I have not like uh, sprayed my face with anything. So I really like the formula. I just don't think this color is perfect for me. I really hope that she will come out with more of these in, a f in the future with more shades because the formula, really beautiful. Okay, let's do some eyeshadows. I'm gonna put some primer on. I'm gonna use one of the Glam Light eye primers. They're actually really, really nice. And I'm gonna start with this Go-Getter, this dark blue in the outer corner. I have a plan. I'm using a small Hakahoda brush. The name of this has rubbed off. I bought this when I was in Japan, but it's very, very reminiscent of the uh, Refer 13. So let's put the dark blue because I want this. Oh, that is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. This picks up a lot in the pan, so don't dig in, but I want this look to be super dark out here. And then I'm gonna use this shade that's called Classic which is that beautiful like true blue matte that I talked about because I've been looking forward to using that so much. How is that so beautiful? Stop right now. Oh Lord. 
that is wonderful absolutely wonderful okay i'm gonna pick a brush like this and uh, it's like it's like a small blending brush but it's a little oval i really love these uh, brushes for blending out and this is classic and let me just put this on the edge oh what a nice blue oh love these kind of shades and i'm gonna bring it into like half i'm gonna put it in the crease as well and I'm gonna bring it into half like that. And now I'm gonna blend this edge and we're gonna put orange on the inner part. Oh, and let me put these blues on my lower lash line as well, actually. I'm gonna take the orange that is called Tony the Tiger and we are gonna put that in the inner part here. I did get some fallout with the blue, so make sure to tap off your brushes a little bit or do your eye makeup first and not like me do it a uh, second but yeah I did get a little fallout and I wanted to let you know so I'm putting the orange and we're gonna try and see if we can not blend but just make it flow a little bit because oranges and blues they don't really they don't really want to flow. I'm not too worried about this part. Like, it is what it is. What are you going to do? Blues and oranges, they don't mix that much. Maybe I can use a little bit of this brush that I had with the blue. And you can just... If it turns a little brown or like greenish brown where they meet. It is what it is. I am going to actually cut my crease. Because I want to have... Okay, so this is my... <laughs> we'll see how this is. This is my plan. I want to have... A cut crease and I want to have the orange going into this light blue so it's like orange out here and light blue I have no idea if this is gonna work out or not but I am gonna cut the crease I'm gonna use the glam like primer which are actually really really good for doing cut creases with because they are very opaque and easy to work with so there's a little cut crease action here I'm gonna see if this is even possible I'm starting with the one that is called frosted which is a light blue. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. This is just me hoping, hoping that it's gonna turn out okay. I'm gonna do this in a little bit of a diagonal. So I'm doing this blue all the way up to where the orange ends and a little bit down like that. And now let me clean this brush off and I'm taking the one that's called Tiger Paw which is the orange. I'm so excited about this shade. It looks so stunning. And we are gonna put that over here. Oh my God. And let me just do a little bit of the matte blue and see if this is even possible to just f fade a little bit. Well, that does look pretty cool, right? I think it looks cool. I like it. It turned out pretty good. Okay, go me. Go, go me. Before I do some false lashes, like this is the look without false lashes, but I thought we can use the one that's called Milk, which is very appropriate, which is like a white shimmer shadow. I thought we can use that one in my inner corners. And I noticed when I swatched this that it is a little bit more of a sparkly topper shade so I am spraying this one I didn't spray the other shadows because yeah look at it when I was able to dampen it just a little bit that's really fun and sparkly okay let me put on some false lashes and we can see the first look this is the first look and I gotta say I am very much in love I Love a colorful, dramatic moment, and I really feel like this is what that is. I didn't have any problems working with any of these shades. I will say that they do pick up a lot on the brush though. So tap the brush off a little bit so you don't get fallout like I did with the dark blue, because I picked up, I always like picking up a lot of color with my brush, but with this one, just tap it off a little bit because it is very pigmented and you don't want to get fallout unless you're doing your eyes first, then it doesn't matter. You can just wipe it off afterwards. But I'm the kind of person that really enjoys doing my face makeup first. But yeah, this is the look and I am really, really enjoying it. Please let me know what you think. So I have the other lip liner on and 
Let's try the lipstick. This lipstick is definitely more peach uh, than it is an orange. I would have preferred if it was not. If there was ever a time to do an orange lipstick, this would have been that time. Like, why didn't why didn't we do that? Asking for a friend. Also, let me put that highlighter on again. Not gonna put as much on this time. Ooh, eye primer. Eye primer, and then can I do something orange? I wanna use that orange again. Am I allowed to? <laughs> I think I think I'm allowed to. I wanna use the orange and I wanna use the black. Can I do that? Am I allowed? Will you be mad at me? Please don't be mad at me. So I'm gonna use Tony the Tiger on a bigger fluffier brush and I am gonna pull that into my crease and blend that out. But I think I'm gonna save that inner part because there is another orange that I haven't used that is more like a peachy orange. It's called So Tasty. So I thought we'd use that one as well. I think that's gonna tie in together with the peachy lipstick, right? I really like how this orange is behaving. Now I'm just manipulating the color a bit without any anything extra, but I feel like it looks with minimal effort, very blended and pigmented, and you're able to build the color up where you want it to be more intense, and you're able to blend it out to be like a lighter orange where you want the fade. I feel like for me, that is a good testament of a good eyeshadow that you can like blend on it, and you can build on it, and you can blend the edges. That's something that I really like. This is the shade that's called So Tasty. It's like just a peachy shade. That works really good with the orange and it really ties into the lipstick. I actually really like that. Maybe we should do like a turquoise lower lash line because I have been playing now with the two really bright blues, but there are some turquoises here, like this one. And also this one is like a turquoise with almost like a gold sheen. You can see that. Maybe that is what I should do so that I can do like orange and blue looks because that was like my initial thought to do orange and blue looks but then I just fell in love with the orange and wanted to do more. You know what? We'll do it. We'll do a classic booty guru a la 2016-17 blue lower lash line. It's pretty though. I mean, it was popular for a reason. I'm using a little bit of the matte black that's called Tiger Stripes. Well, it does have some. When you look at it in the pan, you can see that there's some shimmer in it. I don't know if I think it. you can really see the shimmer here. I'm just putting a little on and blending out. Oh, I can hear my husband is home. He's been at the lab. I'm filming this on a Sunday. I have decided though that I'm no longer going to be working weekends. Because yesterday I took a day off and I was by the pool and I was enjoying myself so much. And today I wanted to get this glam light out and I knew that my husband was going to be at, at the lab. But I'm going to be honest, I could have been at the pool today too. So I think in the future I'm not going to be working any more weekends. I think that's going to be my, my plan. This black is very pigmented. It's not the most easy to blend black I've ever used in my life, but it definitely does its job. But if you get this palette and work with this black, I would say go in with a little at a time and blend this out because all of the other shades are blending so effortlessly. And this one is really building on top of that orange, but it's not super easy to blend on it. So just have that in mind with this black. Go in with a little at a time and take your time blending it. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do a dedicated video, just a chatty get ready with me, maybe a full face of favorites or something. That could be fun. I just wanna talk about like the future of my channel. But no, I just wanna talk about some realizations that I've had as of late. I'm a really big fan of how this is looking though. This is very like tiger, mm, love it. So let's do tiger paw, which is the metallic orange and let's put that all over the lid. I think I'm gonna spray it this time just to make sure that I'm getting like the result that I want. I picked up a lot, I'm probably gonna get a little fallout. So it's important to spray it, but let me, woo, let me do that all over my lid. I'm so happy about this color. 
it is so pretty we rarely get to see orange metallics and this is just so pretty so i'm thinking you know i really like to do a, a matte lower lash line with a little bit of pop of shimmer here so maybe we'll do teamwork and then do the uh, sweet spark as the pop and we'll do the milk in the inner corner again I honestly think that that could be really cool and I'm, I'm excited about this now. So let's do the turquoise teamwork and like I said before, all of these shades swatched really pretty and they're all swatched pretty similarly. And usually when shadows swatch similarly, they also perform similarly. The only thing that's the only thing, the only one that swatched a little different is milk and like I said, it swatched more like a not a fully opaque base, more like a topper that you could build up with maybe some setting spray to get it to be more opaque. But that's the only one where I was like, oh, this one is a little bit different than the others. That already looks really pretty. Okay, let's do these sweet sparks on the same pencil brush. This is a smaller pencil brush. This is actually from Colourpop. It's an E10. Colourpop makes really nice brushes. If you're looking for brushes, I would definitely recommend Colourpop's brushes. I especially have been enjoying the Colourpop brushes that are like a little bit more like dual fiber, where some of the fibers are longer than others. Those have been really good from Colourpop. So I would recommend Colourpop's brushes if you're looking for more affordable brushes. That is cool, right? That is cool. And now we are just completing the look with a little bit of the milk in the inner corners. I honestly really, really like how this is looking. It is just bright and fun, but this is of course the easier look out of the two because the, the oranges were just so easy to blend. Like, honestly absolutely effortless to blend the oranges and doing a color block but like one on top and one on bottom makes it a lot more easy because you don't have to worry about them muddying together or how am I supposed to make these merge you don't have to because the eye is in the middle so you don't have to worry about that but yeah this looks absolutely stunning let me finish this look up I think I'm just going to put falses on and all of it and something turquoise in the waterline and let's have a final chat. I gotta say, orange just makes me really, really happy. I just think that this is just so fun. And I was happy that I was able to use a little bit of the turquoise on the lower lash line too. I think it looks really, really pretty. I also feel like this orange, like these orange shades will look so pretty together with the orange you're not from Colourpop. Because I feel like that one is lacking one of these like orange metallics. And I feel like that it has like an orange, a pastel orange within the corner. And I feel like that could be so good together as well. I'm really happy. Okay, so this is how I feel about the collection. I think the quality of all of these things is really nice. It's nice quality products in nice quality packaging. Everything feels really nice and sturdy. Even this cardboard packaging feels like sturdy cardboard packaging with a little bit of a soft touch and some like shiny details. I like the color story of this palette. If you like the color story of this palette, I don't think you'd be disappointed with the, the quality of the palette. I did get some questions if I had the Icy palette and the Hershey Kisses. This one is the Cookies and Cream palette. Uh, if I can compare the blues. I don't have the Icy palette, but this is the Hershey Kisses, the blue one. Let me see if I can compare them. So this is what they look like, I think. And this is just me from having used these both of these palettes. I would say the blue shades in this one are brighter and more like just brighter blues. And the dark blue in this one is also, I prefer the dark blue in this one over the dark blue in this palette here. I still think that this one is a nice palette, but I much prefer this one over this one because I like the quality of these shadows just a little bit more. There was something about these Hershey Kisses palettes. I thought that they were nice, but I wasn't like 100% blown away. This one is like that amazing, incredible glam light formula that I know and love. These were nice, but I much prefer the Frosties one, I'm gonna be honest with you. And I also like that this isn't a monochromatic palette and it isn't a rainbow palette. I really like the color story of this palette. And I will say there are probably some similar shades within these palettes. I mean, if you have this one, do you need this one? If you're buying for the blues, maybe not, but I like the mix between the blues and the oranges. And of course that one definitely does not have that. Do prefer the quality of these blues though, uh, compared to the Hershey ones. Those are 
nice these are great that's how i feel about them i haven't even because i've been trying to use these a little bit more to like wrap my head around like the formula and stuff so i'm gonna be reviewing these in an upcoming you know ranking my monthly purchases and i've been holding on to this one for a while because i wanted to form my true opinions on them but yeah i really like this collection if you like these colors if you like frosted flakes i don't think you'd be disappointed with the quality of the products everything looks and feels really well thought through and i like the quality that's my final thoughts about that i will of course be using these a little bit more throughout time and i will come back in about a month and i will do a monthly ranking like i always do i hope you're having an absolutely amazing monday and i will see you again tomorrow for a new video bye